Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another unboxing and flip through video. Today we're taking a look at the Animal Totem Tarot. This is by Lisa Robertson and illustrated by Eugene Smith. Lisa Robinson is also the author of the Mermaid Tarot, which I absolutely love. So I'm super excited to see what is in store with this one, considering how much I loved her mermaid tarot. So this is published by Llewellyn and it is retelling for $29.99. And I will let you know down in the description box where you can purchase this specific one. They're not affiliate links. I am not sponsored. I am not paid for any of these videos. Um, I am telling you like it is just so you can see exactly what you're going to be getting once you take it home. So that being said, this is a 78 card deck and a 384 page book. And it is your typical Llewellyn box here, which I absolutely love. Um, they're pretty sturdy. So again, what drew me to this particular deck was the fact that it was Lisa Robertson and some of the art I saw was super cute. Like, um, let's just zoom in on this little alpaca there. Oh my God. <sighs> Love it. Okay, so it says, journey into the realm of the animals and discover the messages that await in spirit. Animal totems are powerful allies and guides for those who seek connection to their abundant energy. Soaring above or swimming below, crawling along the earth, or silently stalking in the shadows, all the animals have their own spiritual lessons and insights to help you along your way. In all their grace and wild beauty, animals possess wisdom beyond worlds or beyond words. Let them speak to the deepest part of you. So I'm super excited. Let's go ahead and get into it. I'm not sure. Oh, it says copyright 2015. So it's pretty old as far as decks go for right now, but I digress. It's got the ribbon. Look at that beautiful little snow art. I already took the plastic wrap off the cards so you don't have to see me struggle, but I did not take a flip through yet. So there is that huge book and that is what's left of the box. So pretty sturdy box, magnetic closure. Love it. Putting that aside, let's go ahead and take a look through the book real fast, just so you can be prepared to see what you're going to get. So it is thick. Ooh, all right. I always start from the back and work my way forward. All right. I'm looking for the table of contents. So this looks like it is the fourth printing in 2019. Right. Contents. So we have um, aligning the tarot with the energy of the animals, the how to of a reading. And then, wow, there's a lot of information here. So we have power animals, animal guides and totems, animal archetypes, elemental energies, and animals we fear. Then we have chapter three, understanding the journey. Chapter four, before you begin, the major arcana, the royal families, and the minor arcana. And then chapter eight is exploring your deck with some spreads. All right, so, so far, it looks like there is a lot of information here. I just want to make sure um, if there's anything different with this particular deck that we should be aware of. Uh, so the court or royal cards are the more human aspects of the deck, showing distinct ages, roles, and positions of power. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So far, I'm not seeing anything, but um, I don't want to, you know, make this video five hours long. So let's see. Just let me flip through, flip through real fast. What we'll do is when we're done with the flip through and when we are done with um, uh, shuffling, seeing how they shuffle, then I'll go through, I'll pull a card or sometimes they like to come out on their own and we'll actually turn to that particular page and then we'll see um, what's going on with this book. All right, perfect. Let's take a look. So first of all, it is your average Llewellyn deck size and the gloss is there. So it's, you know, going to probably shuffle just like the other one. So I'm excited about that because I do love how they shuffle. And then we have my dogs barking in the background, which is also great. <laughs> this is the back and it is so cute. All the little animals on there with the little blossoms. 
All right, so here we go. Cute. Okay, I don't know if you guys know who Finnegan the Fox is. Um, my husband introduced me to the, I think she does TikTok videos with this fox rescue. Oh my gosh. So I love foxes, but Finnegan is definitely, definitely a star. So shout out to Finnegan the fox and to the fox rescue. I don't know your name, but it's fantastic. Oh my goodness. I love these cows. Are these the Highland cows? I think so. Correct me if I'm wrong. So, so far these look like um, woodcut printings and I love that style. Either way, they're gorgeous, gorgeous little animals here. Oh my goodness. What a perfect symbol there for the lovers. Oh. They feel really good in your hand. They're a great, great size. Oh my goodness. So far, no complaints. I feel like the art style is just fantastic. There's a lot going on and a lot to um, take a look at and really ta uh, take in, I guess. <laughs> Interesting. Hmm. Now he's a little scary looking, little vulture, right? There we go. He's just he's just a smidge scary looking, but that makes complete sense. Oh my goodness, I love this card to death. Oh my gosh. Absolutely love, love, love this card. Wow. Okay, that is really neat though. I mean, here's the thing, and I believe I said it before with her last deck with the Mermaid Tarot. The cards, I feel, have more of an impact when they make you feel things, when they make your intuition, you know, uh, tick off. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like it makes you feel the energy of the card. It makes you feel a certain type of way. And so far, these cards are making me feel a certain type of way. This is making me feel, you know, like, okay, this is the energy that it's bringing. I'm liking it. I'm liking that it's definitely um, putting certain imagery in my head, making me feel ways. That's gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So, so far, like, I'm in love with this deck. Oh, my goodness. All right, we have Sven's Cousins. <laughs> Love it. Wow. All right, so that is the end of the major. Let's take a look at the minor now. Wow. I'm really interested in what the um, guidebook has to say about these cards. Really, really interested because like I said, it's making me feel a certain type of way. And then now you're adding then in more of a human aspect in the backgrounds here. So that's really interesting to me. I like this one too. This is a really cool card. So Nine of Wands talks about like perseverance and determination. And if you know anything about these mountain goats, man, the side of the mountain just hanging on, chilling out. That's really cool. A little snail. That makes this this deck, man, is making me feel things. And I am a huge animal lover. So like the you have the meanings of the tarot and then you have the meanings of the animals on top of it so it's just i really i'm digging this deck I'm digging the deck and i'm kind of going pretty slow just because there's a lot to look at and there's a lot to process because i feel like there's some layers going on here there's just a lot 
of layers and I'm enjoying it actually. I'm just, <laughs> I'm taking way too much time, I know, but oh, this is so cool. Um, I really, I'm really enjoying this deck. And I think too, if you are an animal lover and you um, kind of know what's going on with each card here, it's really easy to use. Yeah, making me feel certain types of ways for sure. Oop, dragonflies. I like this card too. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Very interesting. I can't wait to see what's going on in the guidebook. Is this a deck that you already own? If it is, I'm interested in knowing what you use it for. If it's one of the decks that you pull out first, um, how do you enjoy this deck? Do you like it? Is it just not for you? Uh, those of you who don't own it, is this a deck that, you know, you consider purchasing or you're just like, nah, that doesn't do anything for me. There are decks where like, I think they might be like not a deck that I'm into. And then once I look at the deck thoroughly and I flip through, I'm like, okay, yeah, like I'm definitely using this one. And then there's ones that like I'll purchase and I think, oh, this is going to be a fantastic deck. And I'm just like, I don't connect. So it's really why I started doing these videos because when you look online, you don't get but a couple cards and sometimes not even that. If you are going to bookstores, you don't really get the full deck um, pictured on the back and so you don't really get that connection right away <clears throat> i'm going to cough <coughs> excuse me so that's why i really enjoy doing these because when i first started out with tarot there were a couple of the decks that i got and it just didn't click for me because i didn't connect with the deck and, you know, they're not cheap, so it's hard to make yourself want to purchase another deck if you didn't connect with the first, because then you start thinking, well, maybe tarot's not for me. Maybe it's something that I'm just not good at, or maybe it's something that I need to just quit because obviously something's not connecting. Nine times out of 10, it's because the deck isn't working with you. You're not connecting with it. So... <clears throat> At least that's my opinion. That was my experience. Um, <clears throat> and there's that baby. Oh my gosh. Still want one. <laughs> one of these days. <laughs> so nine times out of ten, that's usually what happens. You get frustrated because you can't connect with the deck. It doesn't make sense. The guidebook, you know, you, you're not understanding. So my advice is to just keep at it and to, to find that specific deck that you really are drawn to, and that's gonna really help you out. <clears throat> it's gonna make you want to use them, and it's gonna make you learn even quicker and easier because you're connecting to it. So let's see how it shuffles. <clears throat> I apologize. <clears throat> the allergies, I have allergies in early spring, all the way through mid <clears throat> midsummer, and so it it just never fails. Yeah, they shuffle just like any Llewellyn deck, and I absolutely enjoy that. Let's see. Yep. Yeah. All right. You want to grab a card out of here? What card do you want to showcase here? This one. We've got. Oh, the Eight of Wands. I really liked this card. All right. So I get asked a lot about this um, uh, Moonface card stand. 
Uh, the link will always be in the description box if you want to check the makers out. It's Jake and Erica. Absolutely love them. Um, I did a unboxing video of this said stand, so you can check that out too if you're um, interested in uh, the quality of the product and how it gets shipped. So <clears throat> I'll um, link their information in the description box. Again, not paid or sponsored. I just really um, enjoy this little stand here. Uh, it's definitely high quality for me, my opinion. <laughs> love it. All right, anyway. Let's take a look at the Eight of Wands. So let's figure out how. Okay, so the court cards, and then we go to, let's see. Oh, there's journal prompts. There's little note areas for note taking. All right, here's the minor. That's the cups. Swords, where's the wands? Here's, there we go. There's a lot of information here, guys. Like, I'm stoked for you. Okay, so there's a message from the horse. Break free from all things that tie you down, as now is not the time to be bound to others or weighed down. Trust your gut and go where the energy moves you. The path is now clear, and the universe is giving you the green light to run as fast as you can. The horse is all about freedom through movement, and to the horse, the ability to run free is the greatest gift there is. The Eight of Wands wants you to know your freedom now depends on how and where you move, along with how fast you are willing to get there. This is often how it feels when you are filled with inspiration. You move faster, think faster, and make faster decisions. It all happens quickly and in the moment. Don't let all your hard work go to waste. Dig deep and push towards the goal line with all you've got, because you just don't know when the energy of the Eight of Wands will be passing through again. So there's a little um, uh, business and career section. There is an urgency to this card, not a suggestion to move, but a real urgency to get up and run. Things are just now, uh, things are not falling into place enough for you to sit on your hands and watch. There is a energy current that is flowing and you need to be in it. The fire you lit back in the Ace of Wands is now burning and you need to saddle up and get what needs to be done now. Family and relationships. Now is the time to make your move. All the obstacles have been cleared. Well, at least for the moment. So what are you waiting for? Just know this is a fast moving card and won't hold the door open for long. Health and well-being. You have worked hard and now things are beginning to shift in your favor. Opportunities are appearing and possibilities that you have been waiting for are now ready for you to take action. Dig deep because the time is now. And then it has card of the day journal prompts. Are you prepared for this fast moving energy? How will you deal with the opportunities that now seek your attention? And what door has now opened that you never thought would be available to you? And then you have a page here for notes. Perfect. So it's not color coded or colored pictures in here, but I don't feel like that's a problem. There's a lot of information here. So if you are a beginner, there's no keywords or anything like that, but you get the point of the card, right? You get the energy about it. It gives you different um, messages here for what you're asking, what questions you're asking. So as far as a beginner goes, you can really um, look at the card and use your intuition to figure out what's going on. And then it gives you all the other information as well. Plus there is facts and, um, stuff going on in the beginning of the book um, that will help you along your tarot journey and for the animal guides as well. So do I like this deck? Absolutely. I think the pictures are gorgeous. I think um, tarot is meant to be um, something that you can feel as well, as well as see. And in this deck, you definitely get the different feels, especially with certain cards, um, you know, the reaction is there. So I think that's important as well. So if this is something that you are drawn to, I highly say go for it. It's worth the money. You get a very informative book here. So again, half the battle with tarot is the price, right? So um, finding the deck, I should say, not half the battle with tarot, but just with the deck in general is the price. Because again, you wanna make sure that you're spending your money wisely. And with this, if you are drawn to the animal aspect of the deck of um, tarot, I love that card so much, then um, 
the money issue um, is worth the price tag. Definitely, I'd say so. The quality is there. I mean, the, the deck itself with the cardstock is thinner. Um, you will put wear and tear on it if you are um, a chaotic shuffler like myself. But again, for me, that's part of the character and charm once you start using your decks a lot. So again, I'd love to know what you think. This video has gone on long enough. <laughs> So again, let me know down in the comment section what you think about this particular deck. If you own it, I'd love to know. And also don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on your way out of the video. That way you'll never miss an upload from me. All right, everyone, you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.